Hey, all my brothers and sisters in Christ, this is Wendy. Have everyone had a most glorious day and our beloved King Yeshua HaMashiach. So now let us praise our wonderful and glorious God. Our holy God, mighty and faithful and true and powerful God Jehovah Elohim your beautiful Holy Spirit your spirit of truth my helper and your beautiful and faithful son King Yeshua HaMashiach I bow down to you, my Holy Father Yahweh. Father, you are the power and you are the control. And your word says you are the greatest of all. You are Jehovah Jireh, Jehovah Nisi. Jehovah El Elon, Jehovah El Elion, Jehovah Sid Kinu, God our righteousness, how I praise thee, my glorious God, how I love thee. How I come to you in complete reverence and awe to your holy throne, your holy throne of grace and love and peace. For you are righteous and holy and eternal. Thank you for drawing me to your precious and perfect Son, King Yeshua HaMashiach, through your beautiful Holy Spirit. For you saved my soul from going to hell. And I will be thinking your precious Son from now unto all eternity, and it will never, never never be enough for what he suffered for my sins and for the world's sins because he who knew no sin took upon the world's sins praise be to his wonderful and glorious name, King Yeshua HaMashiach, the mighty Lamb of God, and the Lion of the tribe of Judah, who will come back and sit on his mighty throne in Jerusalem, his holy city. God Jehovah's holy city and holy nation, Israel in Jerusalem. Father, I pray for their peace, that you will protect them, that you will bless them. Your first covenant people the apple of your eye, your peculiar people. I pray that you will have mercy upon them. I pray that you will have mercy upon this land as your judgment falls. Father, please wake up those souls who have no idea of what's coming. 
because their eyes are blinded. I love you so much. I reverence you. I honor you. I respect you. I love you. Thank you for all of your blessings, all of your surprises, all of your gifts, and all of your presence. Every good gift comes down from above, from the Father of lights in whom is no variableness and no shadow of turning. I love you so much, Papa Yahweh and King Yeshua's holy and mighty and powerful name. The most powerful name there ever was, is, and is to come. For King Yeshua is the same yesterday, today, and forever. Amen and amen. Okay, I was reading in Second Corinthians this morning. And forgive me, I haven't turned to it yet. Hold on a second. As always, I'm thinking that there was a scripture I wanted to say, but I can't put my finger upon it. Um, yes. Chapter 10, 2 Corinthians chapter 10, verses 4 and 5. For the weapons of our warfare, well, let me, let me back up to three, okay? For though we walk in the flesh, we do not war after the flesh. For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty through God to the pulling down of strongholds, casting down imaginations and every high thing that exalteth itself against the knowledge of God, and bringing into captivity every thought to the obedience of Christ. So this is a, another way besides the armor of God to protect yourself, to protect your mind, to protect your heart. And we fight against evil spirits, not flesh. Um, and it says, but mighty through God to the pulling down of strongholds, strongholds in your life. And every time you get a thought that exalts itself against our holy God, cast it down in the name of King Yeshua HaMashiach immediately. Cast it down any imaginations or thoughts that are against our holy and righteous God, cast them down in the mighty name of King Yeshua HaMashiach. And I can't tell you how many times during the day that I capture my thoughts and give it to the obedience of King Yeshua. Uh, that, that's very important because you don't want things to linger in your heart or in your mind. You want to cast them out in the mighty name of King Yeshua as soon as you can. And the more you do that, the more it will just come to you automatically to do that. I have been, he taught me that, I want to say sometime last year, wait a minute, 
maybe 2014. Anyway, it's been a while. But now I am pretty good at catching my thoughts and giving them to the obedience of King Yeshua pretty quickly now. And it's almost, um, mm, I can't think of the word, but it, it's almost just an automatic response for me now. Praise God. He helps me in this. And he'll help you too. But it helps keep your mind and your heart pure. Only God can purify your heart. But it helps keep the ick from getting into your heart any more than it already is. If that makes any sense. So that's what I wanted to mention. Amen. And praise our wonderful God for his mighty and perfect word for us to follow and get directions from to live the way he wants us to live and to avoid the pitfalls of the enemy. And we're all going to fall. I fall every day. But these, these um, instructions that he gives us help us tremendously. And King Yeshua is always here for us. And he picks us back up and puts us back on his path. Stronger than we were before. Amen. Glory be to our wonderful and holy Jehovah God. Okay, so the vision... Excuse me. This vision, I have no date for. I know it was a few days ago. And I, I know sometimes I'm really bad about not putting the date down. Okay. I see the horrible demonic images of people wearing black hoods and awful, evil-looking masks. And they are dancing. They're dancing around. I see this person in a chair. And by the way, there's an evil, just an evil, that the minute I started seeing this vision, I knew. I see this person in a chair with his head covered, and I know they are about to kill this person for their sick entertainment purposes. From Jehovah God, people will be watching on stage, people sacrificing to Satan, to the beast. This will be the most horrible and terrifying time in all of history. There will be no love for anyone, for their love has waxed cold, and they have refused the living God, Jehovah. And the scripture is Matthew twenty four twelve, And because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold. All right, so please take this word into prayer. Romans 6, 22-23 But now being made free from sin and become servants to God, ye have your fruit unto holiness, and the end everlasting life. For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. I received this word from Father God Yahweh at 3.04 p.m on 26 February 2016 today. My beautiful daughter of mine that shines so brightly for my son Yeshua, write my holy and righteous words for all to hear, see, and experience. Be about your father's business. I want all of my faithful saints to be about my works in which my son leads you. My beautiful ones, you are called to have beautiful feet to help bring in my lost sheep to the very moment I send my son for you. You have your own ways and your own personalities as telling people about my perfect son Yeshua. Do not think, my saints, that you need to be as everyone else. God made you just as you are, your personalities and your hearts. Some of my chosen ones are very aggressive and some are very subtle. Either way, you are working in my kingdom. However, 
Always remember to be wise as a serpent, but harmless as a dove. Remember not to force my son upon anyone. You lay the seed and plant, and God gives the increase. I know that many of you want to just sit around and wait for the glorious day to arrive. Did not my only begotten Son do my work all the way up until he willingly suffered and died for the world's sins? When he comes back, will he find his workers laboring for the harvest? These are the most exciting times that my children could be living in. There are so many ways of communication now. My children of faith always work unto the Lord Almighty with my Ruach HaKadosh, leading you and lighting your way. Never do anything unto your filthy rags. Father Yahweh Elohim, instilling wisdom into his faithful has spoken. All right, so I will leave you with the ironic blessing, the blessing from God to his faithful. And that's Numbers chapter 6, verses 22 to 27. And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, Speak unto Aaron and unto his sons, saying, On this wise ye shall bless the children of Israel, saying unto them, the Lord bless thee and keep thee. The Lord make his face shine upon thee and be gracious unto thee. The Lord lift up his countenance upon thee and give thee peace. And they shall put my name upon the children of Israel, and I will bless them. In the holy and perfect and mighty name of our blessed King Yeshua HaMashiach, Baruch Hashem Adonai, Blessed be the name of the Lord. Amen and Shalom.